seems to be so wet. What's in your bag? Today I'm having a presentation. I'm carrying laptop along with my academic books. By laptop, we have well technologized labs and smart board classes. We can use Raspberry Pi. What is this Raspberry Pi? Come, let's ask our seniors. Hi, senior. Do you have any idea regarding Raspberry Pi? I have idea about it. Come, let's see what is Raspberry Pi and its installation. Kadar Pasha from the Department of IoT, pursuing my third year of engineering in Ace Engineering College. Today, we'll be going to discuss about the most widely used Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi is a credit card sized single board computer. It was developed to promote basic computer science education and to promote interest among students. It costs around 1500 change for type A and 2000 change for type B. It is very much useful for the people who want to learn various programming languages. It can support open source Linux with high resolution video output by consuming less than 5 volts of power. A type adapter cable to power on Raspberry Pi, HDMI cable that is high definition multimedia interface to get output from the Raspberry Pi through monitor and most importantly external storage device SD card along with keyboard and mouse to give inputs to Raspberry Pi. These are the peripherals which we used for Raspberry Pi. To install Raspberry Pi OS into Raspberry Pi model, we need an external device that may be of SD card or pen drive. After plugging in your external device to your PC, open any web browser and search for Raspberry Pi. Open the official website of Raspberry Pi. Click on the software tab, go down, I have a windows operating system in my PC, so I am going with the download for windows. You can see that the download has started. Open the downloaded file, click on yes, it asks for your permission. Click on install. It installs the basic files. Click on finish. Device. Click on your Raspberry Pi OS right of it in the first tab and choose your external device from here and click on write and click on yes. After finishing of loading into your external device, click on continue and remove your external device from your PC. This is the external device that I have used to dump the OS. Now plug in this device into the Raspberry Pi. Now connect the external device that is monitor and the power supply to your Raspberry Pi and external input device that is mouse. After entering into Raspberry Pi, we have to create an account for your Raspberry Pi. Enter username as of yours. Enter the password as you prefer and confirm it again. Click on next and click on next. If you want to connect to your internet, you can connect but I am skipping it for now. Click on skip and click on skip again click on restart so that the raspberry pi boots up again to confirm its username after booting off your raspberry pi click on next and select your country Select your preferred language. This shows that the and OS is installed successfully. This is the menu bar. And this is the web browser where we can surf in the internet. And this is file explorer. 
and this is the ter terminal where we can execute programs and enter into our Raspberry Pi. This is the overall installation process of Raspberry Pi.